gentlemen, welcome back, Ralph's Automotive. 2007 Dodge Ram. Uh, this one was a crank no start, but uh, the customer actually pulled the truck down here yesterday, and I was really too lazy to, well, not too lazy, but I really didn't want to sit there and have to push the truck in the shop because it was like way out on the street uh, this is a pretty heavy truck so I really didn't want to do that so I did what uh, I normally don't do I took a hammer or not a hammer but I used my uh, snap on dead blow and I tapped on the tank and uh, of course the truck started right up uh, pretty good indicator of what's wrong with it like I said, in these, these parts here, we don't get a lot of crusties or anything like that that don't mean anything. I'll do, uh, we'll see what the scanner can do. We'll see what option we have there. And uh, uh, really, I'm going to be lazy on this one. Uh, there, I, I think that sometimes the, uh, uh, the diagnostics are really irrelevant. And in this case here, I think that that may be the case. We'll do some of it, make sure that our basics are, are there for us, and uh, I'll bring you all along. So I did have to charge the battery. Of course, battery was dead, deader than doornail. Give it a crank. So, we can see, does it start? Oh, not so much today. then so that kind of sucks a little bit because <laughs> I got to move the truck and like I said that thing don't roll good kind of got our scan tool hooked up um, really about one that I'm really concerned about Should be able to see that. The Tipham fuel pump control circuit two open. That's a P127E. Pull that out of it. Everything else is uh, battery related. Now this battery, of course, is dead. Um, should be pretty cut and dry had to look up uh, code setting criteria to make sure that I don't tell you something wrong. Um, possible causes. Um, the PCM sends the signal to the TIPM. Uh, TIPM out, the output from the TIPM. And uh, basically, I'm not going to chase down every time. We can check go to the easiest thing that we can get to and that's the fuel pump itself uh, we'll just 
put a test light on the wire that controls the fuel pump. Uh, if we get power to the fuel pump, don't hear the fuel pump run. It is what it is. So it literally only takes uh, a few minutes for me to take the drive shaft out of it. Uh, in a case like this here, I take the drive shaft out of the way. Uh, no big deal there. I want to get you a look-see up top. They did us another favor. Normally, uh, there's a pretty good size uh, muffler sitting here. Uh, they put uh, aftermarket crap on on this truck, so that helps me. <clears throat> I'm not complaining. Let me flip this screen. Hopefully, I'll get that camera in there. Uh, yeah, I think y'all can see that plug. There is a red wire in there. Uh, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, we're not going to disturb anything. Uh, just in case there is a connector issue, I'll put you back over here. We'll get hooked up. I'm probably just going to back probe it and uh, uh, probably just going to back probe that real quick. And uh, I got to get some information together to see if we can control the fuel pump, all that good stuff. Uh, make sure we can do all that. And. Uh, test this wire here and we'll call it, uh, call it uh, good enough. So actually <clears throat> the wiring diagram says orange red for the wire and that's probably uh, it's probably true. Uh, black for the ground. I got that hooked up up there. Trying to bring you in there. I'm right here. My probes, I don't see if, I, I can't really see the camera that, the, the screen really that good to see if we're on it or not. But anyway, they, these are hopefully hooked up and I still got to investigate what I got on the scan tool. So give me just a second and I'll be back. Oh, I'm not going to lie guys. Uh, normally I would have skipped that uh, and, and the only reason for that is uh, and, and that's not saying you couldn't get burnt if there was a bad connection but uh, uh, it's not that big of a deal to get the uh, the jack underneath there and lower the tank down a little bit uh, to see that but uh, I normally really wouldn't have done that because I hit the tank with the hammer and the truck started up uh, last night when they brought it over here and uh, we drove it in the end of the shop so but anyway uh, Long story short, um, fuel pump relay circuit. So basically what that amounts to right there, uh, up here there's an on and an off. Uh, I'm gonna flip you around. We just have to take my word for it. That's what I am doing. Uh, I'm sure we can probably see that. Let me get that screen turned around. Okay, so uh, all I did is, is got a couple of alligator clip wires and hook my light bulb up uh, that's fuel pump on right there sorry I'm <coughs> on the tripod uh, fuel pump off on off on <coughs> off so I think uh, I think enough said we don't hear the fuel pump running I'll take you over there now this camera pretty good about picking up noises. Okay, so what we can do here, let me get this bulb undone. Uh, this is about should be right around four amps of current on this uh, bulb right here uh, we can go over there I guess and test test that part as well I frequently use that little gadget right there close this drawer lay this down for just a second I was already plugged in, dummy. Ooh.
So, if you look right here, um, well, got about 13.7, something like that. I'm gonna flip that screen. <clears throat> I'm just going to light this baby back up and that should show you a uh, current draw on the opposite side. So about uh, 4.3 amps of current what that bulb is drawing so that is uh, more than enough to uh, test that circuit to make sure that it has the capacity of carrying a load. Uh, this is all I did right here. Like I said, uh, well that is pretty much good enough on that part. Let me lay this down. <clears throat> what we can do, I don't want to beat the crap out of the fuel tank, but let, let's just try this. So, <laughs> I don't know if the camera picked it up. I actually did hear that pump just a little bit and it went right back out. So uh, anyway, this is, that's about enough of this. Uh, I got to get this thing out of here uh, at some point in time. So I'm going to move the camera over there. And we'll get started on taking the uh, hoses loose the way we do it. Let's go up here. We got one quick connect and get the screen flipped around once again. All right. I've been getting some complaint about the camera, so we'll try to do a little bit better on that. Uh, bring you more or give you better images, hopefully. Let me get that tripod up. We might even be able to follow along here. Uh, yeah. So. We can do that. That's uh, here probably a uh, six mil, something like that. And this is one of them clips. A uh, little free tip when you when you're dealing with these. Uh, oh, where are you? Deal, dealing with these quicker necks. Let me turn this around so. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Okay, so up here, when we're dealing with these here, I myself have a habit of uh, pushing these forward. Sorry, I had to turn the air on. Uh, I myself, I have a habit of pushing these forward. I blasted a little bit of WD-40 and I'm going to blow it. Give it another spritz of that WD-40. Repeat. Uh, it does tend to make things easier. Not to mention when you get uh, mud and stuff in there, uh, that especially makes it easier. Get our light up there too. Uh, but anyway, This is, I believe, to be a lock, yeah, just locks in on the back side. Oh, that thing is brittle, way brittle. Yeah, this thing here is way brittle and also uh, I don't know if I can get the uh, camera to pick uh, I won't be able to get the camera to pick this up uh, it's still full full of dirt so yeah that's actually worked I can see that uh, it was still full of dirt so uh, be mindful of that I have the I have these little clips. I think I uh, showed you all my kit that I use. 
Uh, I have these uh, clips, so not a big deal. Yeah, this thing here is, is full of dirt, guys. I mean, full of, full of dirt. So, kind of want to be careful with that. Tap it a little bit to get all of it to fall out that needs to fall out. Probably spray it out a little bit as well. So, seven mil on the um, hose, filler hose. Wow, super tight there as well. I didn't even blow. Blow it up. I'll oh, blow it off too. Blow it up. <laughs> Hope we don't blow it up. Yeah. Wow, that's super tight. Yeah. Yeah, that right there is pretty darn tight. I'm gonna, matter of fact, I'm not gonna keep cranking on it like that. I'm gonna get a ratchet. Got that clamp nice and open. Uh, now I need to hunt me down another pick. I got, I'm trying out some of the icon tools. Uh, this rubber hose is going to be stuck like crazy. Uh, I already know that. That's why I went and got the pick. There's no need me trying to even pull it. Got to go all the way around it if you can. Come on out of there. Here's what I'm using. Using one of these picks. So now I think I got the hose loose. I think I got it loosened up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Well, the hose is loose. That's good enough for right now. Uh, head back underneath here in just a second and uh, uh, get the uh, jack and all that good stuff ready. And pause you up for just a second. So what do I do? Zoom in even more? No, that is all the way out. Okay. Uh, well, pretty standard stuff right there. So I got my jack under it right there. Uh, you see it right here. Hope you see it. Uh, this is the center section of the tank. That's where I got it. Now, this one here is a little bit tight. I can't get a strap around the top. Uh, I generally don't like to do that. I will uh, try to lower it and then put the strap on it. This thing here is about half full. So I have to be careful what we're doing here uh, because once that fuel starts sloshing to one side or the other, that can be that can be a bad thing. On the back side, on the straps, uh, I'm not going to hold the camera over there just uh, just to show you that on the strap bolts. Uh, that's, you're going to need a 16 millimeter, uh, blast it with some WD or whatever you got laying around, to make it a little bit easier to come down. So we'll put a little bit of lube on it. Uh, we're going to need an extension as well. I'm pretty sure I don't think this will clear. Well, strap number one. Now the extension you're going to need on the other one. Uh, I'm Pretty positive we are we are going to need that so I'll try to get it on there but I doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, might, no, nope, not going to work. We're going to need a six-inch extension or something like that. Second one. And that one's full of dirt. Clear out some of the debris so it don't fall on us uh, at this point in time. Now this is where uh, we we'll have to be a little bit careful. Um, like I said, we don't need to rock the fuel. You're going to start rocking the fuel. Uh, that can be a very bad thing. This uh, G 
jack right there is pretty stable, but uh, I've had it tip on me before. This isn't the first time. Uh, the best thing to do, and I would highly recommend that, is uh, pump the fuel out of there if you got some place to put it. Uh, put it back in later. That is the better the better thing to do. Uh, no ifs and spots about that. You know, empty tank, easy to handle. Uh, half full tank, not so much. So on the back side, I forgot to mention that. Uh, on the well, toward the front of the truck, uh, there is a charcoal canister attached to it as well. So you'll have to unclip that. Very easy to do. Uh, really not a big deal. Don't need to show you that. Uh, heading down with the tank right now. So, like I said, it's going to be different for you guys anyway. I mean, for one, uh, odds are you're probably not going to drop a tank in the first place. But anyway, if somebody does it, uh, you do end up want to lower the tank, whatever. Uh, at this stage right now, I'm going to unhook some of the, uh, or I, I'm going to unhook the wires. Sorry, uh, I'll spit that out here in just a second. But I'm going to undo that and see what all kind of messes up there and uh, what all we got to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys up here uh, just for the sake of filming it. I happen to remember I just made a comment, uh, I believe it was today I made a comment. Uh, I do tend to get camera lazy. Sorry, I got sidetracked there. I got a phone call. Uh, almost forgot to turn the camera back on, but anyway. Uh, went up top, the same thing. Uh, unhook your fuel line. Uh, same kind of uh, uh, push lock fitting on it. Uh, uh, as I predicted, I, I ended up breaking it as well. Uh, it was full of dirt and all that good stuff. Uh, plug was extremely hard to get off of it. Uh, it's just not, not really cooperating. Uh, note note the hoses we've got obviously we've got the vent line right here that's going to come down with the tank and over here on the other side uh, behind the frame behind this frame we have the actual uh, filler hose so I'm going to very carefully now uh, not to talk and try to lower this thing down without losing it. So we gotta keep the balance. This is, this is a little bit tricky. Or well, it can be a little bit tricky. All right, the last hose right here. Get this down to a manageable level. Now, one of them stays hooked up. Like I said, there's your vent hose. That one there stays hooked up. The other one, we'll have to undo it. Uh, that thing is also full of crap too. Uh, same thing. Doesn't push. Are you going to sit or you're not going to sit? See, it doesn't take much to get this, this fuel rocking. I can unhook it back here. Uh, probably should have done that to where I leave that on the tank and that may be uh, what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm talking about. Uh, undo it here actually. Oh my. Did I just break the friggin light? Oh, we're out of battery. <laughs> anyway, we'll just head on over here and try to get that one undone instead. Uh, you be able to push on this and that spreads the bottoms but that just isn't working when when them things get clogged up with dirt uh, not happening you know they it's just not not going to happen so we'll put this one here back down we can as a matter of fact we can probably put it back on I don't worry about it and, uh, Slide this over here. Worst case, 
Yeah, there you go. Worst case, it'll. Oh, you can't see nothing. Sorry. Uh, like I said, I lay laid it down, and worst case, it's going to go to the uh, hit the cart right here. I need to switch sides here. I need to get the camera out of the way. There's too much, uh, too much going on underneath the truck right now. So you'll just have to bear with me and uh, just take more. Well, this thing here is badly covered uh, with all that crap in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we need to clean that out. Um, in case you all don't know, they actually do make a tool. Uh, it sits on top of here. We can use a ratchet to unlock that ring. Uh, I see it all too many times. Uh, I've seen it many times on YouTube where people uh, knock around on these things here with a chisel. Uh, guys, it's gasoline. Uh, all it takes is a spark in the wrong place. Uh, that needs to be, when you're doing it, it needs to be brass or aluminum, uh, something along those lines. Anyway, uh, that was a quick disclaimer. I'm gonna blow the blow the top of the tank off. The, uh, the electrical plugs that go in here, they are available. If somebody would accidentally ruin that plug, uh, you can get them at a parts store. Just a FYI. So, let's... this is metal, but it doesn't spark. brush a little bit of the crap off of here kind of something a little bit funny uh, I don't know how many of you caught this earlier when I was cranking the truck uh, it really sounded like we have a little bit of an issue with one of the cylinders. Uh, well, I say one. I, I guess I don't really know that uh, hearsay, but uh, it didn't really sound all that great cranking. Uh, it was skipping. It sounded like it was skipping the cylinder. Of course, the truck's not here for that. The uh, uh, truck's here to place fuel pump. That's neither here nor there. Uh, I will, however, mention that to the customer. Uh, a lot of times I don't personally, uh, I don't like to tell the customer too much because I feel that uh, sometimes the customer think, well, he's trying to sell me more, uh, more service and, and I, don't, uh, I, I don't care about that. That's, I just want to wanna make sure that the customer is aware of the problems. Anyway, I'm going to pause you up a little bit. I got to get some stuff together and go again. Just whatever you got laying around, I just happened to find that. Uh, I got press punch somewhere too. Heck, did the same thing right here. Uh, that lubrication, of course, a little bit of WD-40, whatever you got. Uh, actually, some a uh, little bit heavier oil probably be better. Uh, but yeah, that helps uh, helps quite a bit. It helps that ring to slide before we lift it off of there. I'm gonna blow it off one more time. And just yeah, and there was more trapped under it it is recommended to uh, clean out a tank don't really know how to clean out a tank never figured that one out yet uh, we stuck vacuum cleaner in there before, we've done that, but uh, 
that pretty much the extent. So here's your uh, ring. And real quick, I'm going to tell you what I do. Again, this is just what I do, my preference. I'll hit this here with a wire wheel on the grinder and make that nice and slick. Uh, put a little paint on it. And uh, that help us slide it back in. And we're going to put uh, grease on those. So these will go in fairly easily uh, when we put new pump back on. I don't know why I just turned the camera off or paused the camera. I have no idea why I've done that. Uh, we're going to buy the module. I'm doing something on this one that I hate doing, but uh, there's really not a whole lot of choice. Well, I say there's really not a whole lot of choice. There's no choice. Uh, I called a dealer. Uh, they're on back order. They're telling me like many, many weeks to months before they can even uh, get something. So that's obviously not going to work for the customer. My God. I gotta be again careful. There is still some crud on here. Make sure that does not fall inside the tank. Obviously. We'll give that tank a look look see here in just a second. Like I said, keep in mind how to align that fuel pump. There's actually a locator, it says. So, I don't know. I know how it came out. Uh, I will be taking the sending unit off of it uh, straight away because I don't feel like killing the sending unit. Yeah. Let me pause that camera for just a second. I don't play with something. Uh, there is going to be something we are going to check on the new one because it is going to be aftermarket. I want to make double sure. Also, by the way, I did not say say this earlier. We could have gone to the wiring harness over here on the frame and uh, tested right there as well. I opted to go close, really close to the connector up here. Uh, doesn't matter, I don't guess. I mean, there can be a problem in the connector, but uh, if that's the case, tank's got to come down anyway, so uh, not a big deal. One thing that I've had problem with on the aftermarket pump or fuel uh, fuel modules, not a pump, fuel module, is the actual tank gauges. I've had problems with them before. After we installed uh, a new module, fuel module, uh, tank gauge was off. Now in the book, this is calling uh, for 20 to 220. I'm going to get you a shot at this right here so we can see the meter. Let me stay, get out of the way here. Yeah. That gummit. Let me get this over here. Maybe we'll let's sit there. We'll sit there for right now. Uh, see what I did here? So, basically, what it amounts to this would be a full tank of gas, so that's relatively close. So, go backwards. Uh, same thing, 20 to 220. So I like that range. This this is showing pretty good. Now so all I did is pierce into the wire here. Of course, uh, that right there will come with the new module. I want to share that with you. That's something we are going to check. Uh, real quick, 
uh, shining a light in the in the gas tank. Uh, I'm not going to move the camera over here, um, but I shine the light in there, and there's really not uh, no debris in there. Uh, tank is fairly clean. That is that is I guess important, you know. And like I said, the best thing to do would be to to go ahead and, and empty the tank, and then reach in there and wipe everything out. That that is the best thing to do. This one here is really not that dirty, so it it be okay. So, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I put the top back together here. got a new fuel pump in here uh, clean everything up grease the ring the old ring the new o-ring greased it up real good uh, put a lock ring back on I figured I didn't have to film that uh, we'll make sure that the debris is out of these uh, areas where the uh, lines clip in I kind of wire brushed over the top where the straps go to get the major dirt off it uh, blowed everything off so this assembly here is ready to uh, go back into the truck so um, I'm what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and roll that over there and maneuver it all in place I'm not gonna leave the camera on for that uh, I think that part is kind of irrelevant I'll turn the camera back on when I get in position uh, real quick I've forgotten about that These are the clips, and I have no earthly idea if the camera can even pick this up or not, but uh, just thought I'd add that in there. Uh, on this part of these clips here, in case you all didn't know that, I mean, they, they really, because of the broad shoulder on top, they really can only sit in there uh, one way, but one easy way to tell is there is a taper on both sides over here that is going to be the direction that you're pushing it on as that's so it can push on so without what i'm saying is this this taper right here on that that little fitting it lets the connector slip in and push in so this this taper needs to face face you when you when you're looking at the inside of the the fitting that that needs to face you right here just just in case I figured I had that in there so now this is a bit of a difficult uh, shot for me to even show you this we've already watched on uh, or not watched but seen the top of the tank we need to make sure that we're aligned now I'm really close I got everything plugged back in uh, we got our fuel hose going above the frame on this side like we talked about and then we've got the vent over here going over the topmost of everything there is a wire loom there so <clears throat> now at this point in time we have to do just a little bit of adjusting make sure that uh, nothing is binding and we'll be able to take a look here and see okay so that part looks pretty good uh, nothing is pinched so it all seems to be lining up properly like I said this is a matter of uh, making sure nothing gets pinched make sure everything goes back to the uh, to its original home when you put your strap on <laughs> when you put your tank strap back on uh, make sure that it looks like it's it's in the same uh, position it came out of and uh, I got my uh, jack over here a little bit too close uh, to the edge here I won't be able to get one on but uh, the one strap will easily hold that tank in place no problem at all
Oh, look like I got the dropsies. I've got to try to wrap this project up a little bit. We've been interrupted a uh, hundred times already. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm by myself. I don't have a person to take care of the office and all that good stuff. I do everything. So, um, it, uh, you know, phone rings and all that good stuff. Strap number one, and I will uh, back this gear off now. We don't need it any longer. Um, be sure, be mindful that you uh, hear the uh, make sure you, your, your fuel line and all that, the fittings are good and clean for one, lubricate them uh, and give it a solid plug-in so you can actually hear it click. Uh, this clicked really, really loudly, so that tells you that the, the thing is actually engaged, you know, and not going to fly out on you. Uh, that would be pretty bad, pumping all the fuel on the top of the tank, uh, or worse. we can place the strap 2 up here see as you can see and falls right back into place I got people, it's actually nice outside today, but I got people out there working and they're of course having their own conversation. So that's the only reason I closed the door. I'm gonna plug all this good stuff here back in, make sure all that is connected. Uh, we're golden here. Of course, we got one more connection to make over here on the tank itself. good there and I don't know if the camera just picked that up but it went click when it went in so that's what you're looking for on top that one I'm not worried about we can go back to that one the other ones uh, far more important so I'm gonna be quiet now uh, I think I still got the scan tool hooked up and all that good stuff so put you over here and we'll turn on the fuel pump That's me turning it on and off. So, one more time. Actually, I'm gonna leave it running just a, just a smidge longer. We'll make sure that everything stays dry up top even though uh, like I said we've done we've done check that but uh, we're still gonna make sure one more time we don't have no uh, wet spot up there now I don't need this vehicle coming back so nice and dry no leaks uh, heading over to the other side. I'm gonna end the video right here guys uh, The only thing that's left to do now is hook the hoses back up lower the truck uh, lower the truck back down and uh, See if we starting up well as a matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna finish this up and go ahead um, lower the truck start it up 
turn the camera. I'm going to turn the camera back on when I do that. Um, I hope uh, y'all enjoy that video because uh, a more detailed video is going to be longer time. Well, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the SD card was full, and uh, somehow or another, I lost the SD card, uh, meaning that it's broken. I couldn't get the rest of it off. So, <laughs> you'll have to take my word for it. Uh, we lowered the truck, started right up. Uh, everything is good to go. Truck has uh, been picked up by the customer. So, I guess I'm going to have to hand the video over here. <laughs>